Captain Robbie Knievel, an American legend. Of course, he has to clear the gap or he'll die. Only the era of the Roman Colosseum can compare to the grand spectacle that has captivated the world stage like the name Knievel. From the originator himself, Evil, to his son, Robbie, the Knievel experience is unequaled in its fanfare and instant recognition worldwide. Robbie Knievel, the greatest daredevil in the world. career jumps 20 world records the first to make the jump at caesars watched by millions robbie honors his father by successfully making it 150 feet the first man to conquer the fountains I kept making run-ups, I went on the fifth run. My head was so screwed up, I'm like, you gotta go or you don't. Quit or go. And I went, but I made it. And then I went a little sideways with the brakes, went through the pillars into the underground parking, pulled back up on the ramp, and it still stands to this day. You know, it was, it was my night, good night, great night. daredevil in the world. I am the father of the greatest daredevil in the world. The record-breaking jump of 200 feet over 30 limousines at the Tropicana Hotel in Las Vegas. He's done it! Building to building jump. 30 million viewers watch Knievel jump from the top of the Jockey Club Towers with no net. They've asked to move a couple of hay bales out. We talked about that landing space being so very limited, and so they're trying to maneuver some of those hay bales so that on landing, Robbie will have some room. It's extremely limited on the landing. In fact, I would say that by far, the most difficult part of this maneuver will come on the landing side. Of course, he has to clear the gap or he'll die, without question. This looks to be it. Robbie is head bowed. He'll use just two gears of five. He'll start in second gear and take off in third gear. Hundred and thirty feet between the two buildings, and they are at an angle. Robbie guns the engine. The crowd anticipates this will be the run. Canyon. Robbie wanted to honor his dad by jumping across the Snake River Canyon, but in true Knievel style, chose the Grand Canyon instead. Captain Knievel jumped his motorcycle for a record 231 feet, while 30 million viewers watched from around the world. Well, now the Team Knievel members who were on the landing platform are clearing. It looks like they are getting ready to jump. If you're just joining us, Robbie Knievel live. That's Bill Rundle, his head mechanic, on his left. Robbie Knievel will attempt to hit this gap. Family members are gathered. His daughters are here. His mother is here. This is a long-awaited moment. A lifelong dream for Robbie Knievel. And the degree of difficulty is unquantifiable. There is no way to rehearse it, no way to practice it. 
This looks like it will be the jump run. The winds continue gusty, but they've slackened just a bit. They still look like they're somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 miles an hour. Remember that landing ramp well below the takeoff ramp. Robbie can't see it from where he is now. He can't see where he's landing. He'll have to orient himself right. He'll have to hit his speed right without a speedometer, I remind you. And they'll have to land perfectly. The focus, the intensity, you'll need two of the five gears that are on that bike. He'll start in second. He'll take off in fifth. When he lands, it's all break. Here's the run. Knievel attempting to jump the Grand Canyon. Yes! He's hit the gap. He makes it. He's off the bike. He's made the gap cleanly, but just as feared, he took the tumble when he hit the cactus in the dirt. The minute he got off the ramp. I don't know if I sprained my ankles when I hit from the landing, because my feet were like wrapped around my foot base, or when I flip-flopped. I broke ribs, I had a concussion, went to the Tropicana and wheelied my wheelchair around the dance floor while they sang me a song. Head on train jump. Racing at 80 miles per hour, headlong into a steam engine locomotive. Captain Robbie Knievel takes off seconds before the train collides with his takeoff ramp and successfully lands. The USS Intrepid, honoring all American troops and veterans, Knievel jumped over six military airplanes on the deck of the USS Intrepid in New York City. Kings Island. Captain Knievel flies over 24 Coca-Cola Zero truck cabs at the Kings Island Amusement Park in Cincinnati, Ohio. Captain Robbie Knievel, the safe landing and the world records. The Mirage Volcano. Millions watch the 200-foot jump in front of the world-famous Mirage Volcano. The worst-case scenario is the one that is feared by most daredevils worldwide. Making what appears to be a perfect start any engine malfunction or the master link of his chain or any chain malfunction could signal a true death ride. The reason, this is the area of no return. Once Robbie reaches this area, he must jump. If there is any complication in this zone, he is already committed. There is no stopping or turning back. If any malfunction should occur, he could land inside the volcano. That would sear and destroy his lungs resulting in an agonizing death. That night, it was so slick, and my I pulled up on my takeoff ramp, and I didn't know it until after everything, and it's live. And I go to back down the takeoff ramp, and I always grab my front brake, and my front wheel just started skidding, because it was so slick. And I had guys run out there with towels, everything was screwed up. So I had a ski ramp, I had to come down the sidewalk, over, turn, and get the gears just perfect to make that. As you can see, we can't really overstate the potential for disaster, frankly. A lot of things have to go right for it all to work out. I have to remind all of you watching, it seems absurd, but if you happen to have a volcano in your backyard and a stunt crew, don't jump over it with a motorcycle. Seriously, Robbie is a team of professionals working around the clock to make sure everything goes to plan. They plot out the exact mathematical equations to ensure success from the angles of the ramps to precisely when he shifts gears. It's all very heady stuff, and even the smallest misstep will spell disaster. So I uh, want to caution you, don't try it where you live. Well, incredibly, with all this planning, I want to mention one piece of information that always astounds me. Robbie refuses to put a speedometer on the motorcycle. He's been doing it for so long that he uses his instincts and his ears simply to gauge the pitch of the bike and how fast he should be going. It's a, it's a real marvel to witness, and you'll see it here in a moment. And as he also likes to say, when you're going that fast, who's got time to look down at the speedometer? It's the moment you've been waiting for. We are ready, the test runs are through. Robbie Knievel is ready to jump.
I should also mention... The crowd is gathered on the strip. He's made it! Robbie Knievel has made it successfully. Landed cleanly and now... <laughs> celebrates like a daredevil likes to. Knievel, experience the legend. Yeah!